Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Driven By Career Advice series where we are giving you the tips and knowledge to help you be successful. Don't forget that we have additional resources online on our website at drivenbyco.com slash resources. We've got a full career planner there if you need it. Today we are talking about the cover letter. The cover letter is a persuasive writing document that allows you to introduce yourself and make a positive first impression. It should highlight your most relevant skills, qualifications, and personal characteristics. And it should help the company understand why you want to work there. The structure of a cover letter consists of an introduction, body, and closing. In the introduction, do your best to capture the reader's attention so that they want to keep reading. And make sure that you include a statement of intent that identifies the intention of the letter. The body paragraphs should include the supporting details for that statement of intent and should also provide a summary of relevant qualifications, strengths, and supporting evidence. The closing statements of the cover letter should summarize your main points and include a call to action for the reader. So what is it that you hope that they do after reading the letter? Make sure that you include contact information if you're asking them to contact you. So I've got five tips for you when writing your cover letter. Number one, use keywords from the job posting. The company will usually give you an overview of the characteristics that they're looking for, so make it easy for them to identify that you meet the criteria. Number two, avoid dense paragraphs. Get to the point quickly so that you don't lose the reader's attention. Number three, customize. One cover letter does not fit all. Make sure that you're customizing that cover letter based on the company and the job posting. Number four, don't plead or exaggerate. Use confident language that demonstrates your value. Number five, camouflage first person pronouns. To do that, avoid using I or my at the beginning of sentences in your cover letter. And don't forget to proofread. Make a great first impression by avoiding those grammar and spelling errors. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of our career advice series. Don't forget to subscribe and stay driven.